Hello, 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 look at me, I've been fresh I've been walking with my savior, yes, I'm trying to do my best Guess I'm just a bag of bones, trying to shake up by the flesh When you see me, never stress When you see me, see me, see me, you say hello, hello, hello Yeah, because you got bit by a shark, the officer is going to think you're a bad guy? No, that's not going to happen, baby. That's not how it works. Okay, first, first of all, there's no sharks in the pool. No. And we're talking about having fun at the pool. No. Do you see any sharks in there? When I go to the, when I go to the beach. Yeah, well, you're not at the beach yet. Let's just be at the pool right now. Can we just focus on being at the pool? Okay, let's just be at the pool. Don't worry about sharks, okay? There are no sharks here. Big girl, okay? Historically, the water has been a traumatic place for the black community. When we were forced out of our homelands, we were brought on ships that sailed across treacherous seas, seas that swallowed some of us up and for others foreshadow what waited for us in America. Swimming pools were segregated until July 19, 1950. And even thereafter, we were not welcomed in the water. Hate-filled individuals would despise us enjoying what we all had the right to. Inner city pools closed and swimming became something that only the affluent could afford to do. As a result, we as a people are not accustomed to the water. Here are some stats from the U.S. Swimming Foundation, but one I'd like to point out is that today black children die at a rate that is at least three to five times higher than their white peers. In the Christian faith, water is where we find our solace, where we are cleansed, where we are given new life by Jesus. The black community has entire generations of people who have never learned to swim because they were told it wasn't for them. And also because of the kinds of trauma we experience through our people's history is the kind that carries on until it is manually and intentionally dismantled. I want the water to be a place of peace for my children. I want them to go to the beach and feel amazing in their beautiful black skin and not be afraid to dive into the ocean. I want them to know that there is no place, activity or otherwise that is not for them because of their blackness. I want them to know that they will exist in whatever spaces they decide, not despite their blackness, but because of it, but because of it. Yeah, but Daddy, Daddy, I'm not we really right. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Okay, yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes. Well, you're Stepped out upon the water, my heart couldn't be any further from you. You slept, I thought I was a goner. With your voice, you make everything calmer. Who oh, no. So out of the fishes, I'm coming towards you. That is worth it, I want you
elevator level. Elevator level of swimming at. Yeah, man, high five. I'm very proud of you, bro. Right, let's wait until the teacher gives you. Good job, man. <laughs> Dad, I want to do it. I want to do it. You got to pass the class first, okay? Why did you pass the class? You did pass the class. We just asked his teacher. Okay. Oh, sorry. High five. Are you Yo. Excited? I was sitting here working on this video and I was like really excited and proud of my children being more excited about the water and making just small little strides into learning uh, how to swim. And then I realized so many other children and families are that don't know how to swim and don't have access to pools or don't um, may not know about associations and foundations that support um, people who are trying to learn how to be safer in the sw in, in swim. So I talked to um, someone I just met recently. Her name is Noelle. She's from Afro Swimmers. Um, and so uh, I wanted to bring a couple uh, organizations to your attention that you may not know about um, so that we can uh, be more of an advocate for people who are learning, who want to learn how to swim and who should know um, how to swim, especially in the black um, community. Uh, and so the three organizations I want to bring to your attention is the uh, Michael Phelps Foundation. Um, they actually um, like promote swimming, teaching kids how to swim um, for free. And also, um, they do mental health work as well. And then there is uh, the National Drowning Prevention Alliance, um, uh, which is an organization that helps teach kids water safety. And then there's Afro Swimmers, who is ran by Noel, um, who is uh, a swim coach and uh, a thought leader in this space. But I, I wanted to kind of just talk to my audience and allow you guys to, in the comment section, ask me any questions about you know wanting to know more about swimming getting your children involved in swim this is going to be a storyline that we're going to go from you know a all the way to z we're going to continue to keep our kids in swim and let you guys know how they're progressing forward uh, because you guys know how much time my wife like to spend at the beach and also i don't know if you notice my wife don't know how to swim Yvette don't know how to swim my wife wants to learn how to swim isn't that right I want to learn how to swim without getting my hair wet. Can you like put your hand on my belly? No, the other hand. Yes, like that. No, put both hands. What? Now, I just want to swim. And so that's a problem for me. If they're going to the beach and then I want to go to Hawaii, but I don't want to be on lifeguard duty the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to enjoy myself in the water too. So um, yeah, I just wanted to bring these things to your attention and also ask if you guys have any questions about uh, learning how to swim for free, um, any type of organizations. And uh, maybe I'll go live with Noel later on on IG uh, and we'll talk about this stuff. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I want to shout out real big shout out uh, to With Solace who will lend us a song called Infinite um, that is really beautiful um, that she produced. She did with a, a producer, a friend of hers. Um, so check her out and check out the organizations below. And then, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Protect your life, keep your network popping. If you're fortunate enough to be doing life with someone else, make sure you watch this video with them. And if they're not around, share with them. See y'all next time. Peace. What love is this?